Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life UK. Today we're doing a burgers around the world cook and we are off to India. So first things first, I want to say I've already eaten this and it is mega. So make sure you stick around to the end and see exactly what goes into it and watch my reaction when I bite into it at the end because it is an unbelievable burger. So if you're new to the channel, Burgers Around the World is where I take a country and a burger and I meld them together. So today we're off to India, so we've got lots of Indian different flavours in there. We've been to other places before, so we've done Korea, we've done Oklahoma, we've done New Zealand and we've done England. So make sure you check out the playlist if you've missed any of them burgers because they're all pretty wicked as well. So let's get on with this cook. So we've got a little bit of prep work to go before we can actually get to the grill. So the first thing that we're going to make is a raita or raita, I don't know how you pronounce it. So it's a yogurt, mint and cucumber dip and it's uh, used for cooling the palate for when you have spice. So it's nice and simple to make. I've taken some fresh mint out of the garden. If you haven't got fresh mint then just use dried mint and uh, chop up that fresh mint. Take a couple of slices of cucumber, chop them up nice and small, dice them up really small as well. A couple of teaspoons of yep. natural yogurt into a bowl and dump the uh, cucumber and the mint in the top and give it a stir. It's as simple as that. Now, if you're using dried mint, then you're going to want to make sure that it's in the fridge for a couple of hours beforehand just so that you can rehydrate that dried mint and you're going to get a better flavour. If you're using fresh mint, then sort of 30 minutes in the fridge is going to be enough. So I've got it off to one side. I've got it in the fridge. Next thing we need to make is our burger patties. So we're using lamb mints today. And there's quite a high fat content in lamb mint. So when I've broken this up out of packet, it's still quite lumpy. But that's just the way we're going to have to work with it. Now we want to get some seasoning onto it today. So we're using the classic Indian set of spices, garam masala. So about a teaspoon on each. And then we're just going to roll that meat about making sure that the entire lot of meat is covered on the outside with them spices before we ball it up into a ball and we start spreading it out into our burger so i'll give it one initial squash with my hand and then i'll just use my fingers to push it out and then round in the outside so i don't get any bits that are too loose because i don't want them to fall off in the grill so we've got our burger patties made and again whop them in the fridge for at least 30 minutes if you've got longer than that, that's even better. If you've got longer than that with the rata dip, then stick that in the fridge and leave that in there a bit longer. There's no time limits to this cook. So, we've had everything chilling out for the amount of time it needs to in the fridge. Now it's time to get on with a cook. So, I've got the Audi Kamado lit. We've got a nice base of charcoal all across the bottom and we're sitting at about 150 degrees C. So, I achieved this by sticking some unlit charcoal in the bottom, a couple of wax woodies, once they'd gone out, opened up all the vents, the, the temperatures start to rise, when the dome starts to warm up, that's when you want to start dialing your, dent, your vents back in. So for 150, it's just over a finger's width on the bottom vent, and the top vent is not quite all the way open. So different charcoals are going to react in different ways, and different ambient temperatures are going to react in different ways, so they are just a guideline. But that's going to get you around that sort of temperature and then you're just going to have to tweak it from there. So as I say we've got that charcoal lit, our Kamado's up to temperature and we're going on with my paella pan. Now I'll make sure I stick a link for this in the description below. It will be an Amazon affiliate link so if you do buy it I'll do get a small kickback which helps the channel but it's at no extra cost to you which is always great. So we've got that paella pan in Going in with a little bit of vegetable oil or sunflower oil, doesn't matter which, I'm using vegetable oil today. A little bit in the bottom and we're just going to let that come up to temperature so that we can get our onions in. So once that oil is nice and hot, we've got some onion in there and we're just going to keep stirring that around and softening it down. Once it's softened, we want to go in with a clove of minced garlic. So we get that on the top, leave it there for a minute or two and then start to stir it in. At that point, we're gonna add our spices. So you want a teaspoon of mild, uh, sorry, medium or hot curry powder, depending on how hot you want this curry sauce to be. 
Onto that, I go a teaspoon of paprika because I like the color, and then a teaspoon of garam masala. Get that on, get them mixed through. If it starts to look like it's gonna burn, go in with a dash of water, and that's just gonna stop things from burning in the pan, basically, and but it's still gonna let things fry because it will steam out quite quickly, but it's gonna stop things from burning, and we just wanna get just a little bit of warmth on them spices before we add anything else. So after about a minute or two, we're going in with a tablespoon of tomato puree or tomato paste, whichever, whatever you want to call it, and a can of tomatoes. So pour that on the top, make sure you give it a good mix, incorporate all of the spices. At this point, give it a taste. If you want it a bit hotter, then you can add something like cayenne pepper or add some chilies into the mix. Um, depending on what you want. What I have forgotten to say is before I added the tomatoes, I did add some red pepper. So I, I always end up forgetting something, don't I? So get that red pepper in before you add the tomatoes at the point you add your spices and just give that a couple of minutes sitting in that hot pan, um, starting to get a little bit of char on the outside. So back to the tomatoes in. So we've got the tomatoes in, we're making sure we've got everything covered. Let's get everything covered, shut that lid down. So after a couple of minutes, once that lid shut down, we're going to go on with some onion barges around the outside. So these are just shop-bought onion barges. Now I've been planning this cook for a long time and I've been saying in my head I've got to do homemade onion barges. And I've never made homemade onion barges, so I've put it off and I've put it off and I've put it off. And now I really, really want this burger. So shop-bought onion barges are going to work fine because of what we're going to do to them after they're cooked. So make sure you stick around to see what we do. So now's that part where I need your help again. Interaction is massively important to a small YouTube channel like myself. So if you could take the time to leave me a comment, like the video, or even subscribe and ring that bell for notifications, it would be greatly appreciated. Cheers. So we've got the curry bubbling away. We've got our onion barges around the outside. Now, this curry sauce is going to take sort of 15 minutes to thicken up. It's going to break them tomatoes down. We're going to soften down those peppers and it's going to thicken up the sauce. If it starts to thicken up too early, before your tomatoes have um, broken down a bit, again, add a little dash of water because it's going to evaporate back out and you want a smooth consistency just with them chunks of peppers and the chunks of onions. So every five minutes we're going in, we're giving it a stir. Every five minutes we're turning the onion barges over because we've still got a bit of direct heat on the bottom of those and we don't want them to catch. So after sort of 15 minutes, the onion barges are done and so is your curry sauce. So take your curry sauce off, pop it to one side and put your onion barges off to one side as well. So now we want to go on with our uh, lamb patties. So we get them out of the fridge, open the bottom vent up all the way so we're letting all the air rush in and go over direct heat with these lamb patties. So we're gonna leave them on, lid shut, for probably three, maybe four minutes. While we're doing that, we're gonna go back to them onion barges. So take yourself a piece of uh, grease with paper, parchment paper, whatever you wanna call it. You want two squares. Now take two onion barges, put them together on that piece of grease with paper, put another piece of grease with paper on the top, Take a big spatula and squash them. So it's going to melt the two together and it's going to make sure that we've got a bigger surface area for our onion barge, so it's going to cover our bun. And I've had onion barges in burgers before and I think when the big swollen onion barge is like an onion barge should be, it makes the burger quite claggy and I don't want that. I want layers of crust crisp flavour all the way through. So by doing this, we're spreading it out across that burger bun so it's gonna, we're gonna get a bite all the way through and we're not gonna be getting a kind of stodgy bite through the middle. So we've got them squashed. We need to get some burger buns onto toast with those um, lamb burgers on the grill. So I'm using brioche buns today because I want the sweetness along with the spice and everything else. So we'll just put them onto toast, again, direct heat. Once you've got a bit of color on them, you can take them off and it's time to flip our burger patties over. So we flip them over. At the point we flip them over, 
take a teaspoon of mango chutney and whack that across the top of your burger. So that is just going to kind of, it's not going to glaze because it's not going to be on there long enough, but it is going to warm up and it's going to run all the way across the top of that burger and it just works amazingly. Now you want to add your cheese. Now some people might go cheese and curry, what you're doing. If Pizza Hut and Domino's and things like that can do a chicken tikka pizza, then why can't I put cheese in a burger bun, in a burger like this? So I'm using Gouda cheese today because I don't want a too strong cheese. I want something quite mild and melty. So put that over the top of the mango chutney on the burger and shut the lid down and let them melt. While they're melting, we're going to get our burger buns ready. So we're going that rayata on the bottom. So just a couple of teaspoons and spread that out. Once that cheese is melted and then burgers are cooked through, we're going to be ready to take them off. So on that rayata, we then go our onion bhaji. And onto that, we go our burger patty. Then we're going to go our curry sauce. Now, I like to add a few fresh chilies to the top of this. If you don't want it that hot, then don't add them. If you want it hotter, then add more. So a couple of fresh chilies in the top of that and then crown it off with our top bun. And it's done. So I like to serve this with a little pot of the curry sauce on the side and it's there for dipping. Not that you're going to need it because you've got plenty of sauce in the top of there. And as I've said, this is amazing. So stick around to see my reaction as I bite into it in a second. So as if this isn't gluttonous enough, you can top it off with a little dish with the rest of that curry for dipping in if you need it. Give it a good squish. More of that. So I had to give my mush a good wipe because a bit covered in curry sauce. That is banging. I absolutely love that. I, I'd go as far as to say I'm going to call that masterpiece. It's got everything you want in there. There's heat, there's sweetness. Cheese works really well. Really impressed with it. Make sure you give it a try. If you like what we're doing here at Barbecue Life UK, then please do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching.